So here we have uh, our steering wheel and for us that is of course uh, our best friend during the race uh, because everything, you know, every hump in the street and every corner just comes through here, the feeling of it, everything, the whole uh, sensation. Uh, as you have seen, it's uh, detachable, so uh, we have this uh, this locking system here, that's make sure that we can do it in a very quick way, release it and click it back on. Um, here on the back, you see that is what we call the pedal shift. This one I use to shift up uh, until like seven gear and this one to shift down. Uh, with the downshift, that's quite remarkable these days because in the, the good old days, when I started racing, uh, it was all sort of like um, different because there you had to do the blip uh, yourself. So when you sort of like did like the downshifting, the double clutching, you could hear the difference between Mario Andretti and Filippaldi and Lafitte and all those people because they had their own way of doing it. These days it's all software organized so when we downshift we might uh, try to look cool but uh, it's all done by the system. So that's uh, for the shifting and the back side of the steering wheel. When we have a look at the front, uh, it gets a little busier. Uh, and at this moment, it's actually fairly quiet because this display uh, lights up when we put on the contact and we have all the lights burning, particularly in the dark. It's really like a laser show, so that's quite difficult. And therefore, um, to start with explaining that, we can dim those lights. So we have a facility, another button in the car where we can just reduce the light. If we start on the left top, that is uh, the radio we want to communicate uh, with the pit that's the radio we press this is the beam lights if we want to sort of like uh, get the attention of the car that we are about to pass we press it and then we get four flashes to uh, get their attention this one here it's not a cocktail but that's the drink bottle so uh, we have uh, connected to our helmet uh, a tube that goes in our mouth and there we can uh, get a drink very uh, seriously needed sometimes and this one here that is uh, the pages that we can turn because we have a display here and if we want to just change those pages we get all kinds of information and it's like the daily telegraph there's so much information there it's incredible uh, this one it says acknowledge uh, which means if i get an alarm and i see that it just is likely something uh, insignificant then i just press that like acknowledge i've seen it and i continue my way um, then on the right top that is the pit limiter so as soon as i come in the pit i press this button and then it lim limits it to uh, 60 kilometers uh, so i can't overspeed if i press that too late then i have to go up in the tower and explain why that was and probably get a stop and go or whatever this one is the kill switch that uh, if we want to stop the engine obviously we press that one here is the wipers in the rain, obviously we press it once we get a certain speed, we press it twice we get another speed and so on. Then this is a full course yellow, if there is an accident on the track and uh, it's safer to just slow all the cars down, then we press the full course yellow and then we go around with 80 kilometers an hour. Then below that, that's the start button. So, uh, you know, simply we press that one and then uh, the engine starts. And then here there is four switches. This is all like fairly on off switches, but these are all adjustable. On the right top, I have the e-mapping. So with this one, I can set the mapping of the engine, which determines the ignition time, how much fuel I get, etc., etc. And we can regulate that. That's all preset. So we don't touch that unless we are told by our engine here in the pit. Uh, then on the right button it is like the throttle so we can reduce or uh, we can increase the throttle uh, sensitivity. So if we want a very long slow throttle we can adjust that. If we want it very much reaction with one millimeter of throttle we can also do that. On the left bottom it's the power steering. So there I can go from a go-kart to a Cadillac whatever I prefer very uh, gently. You know, at my age, I run it more to the Cadillac, but anyway. And here is the gearbox mapping, because the gearbox has its own uh, shift timing. We don't use the clutch anymore, so when I press this button here, it cuts the ignition. It gives also an electro pulse uh, or an air pressure pulse to change the gears. And then uh, I'm in the next gear or on the downshift. So that's all the things I can arrange here. Here on the top, those lights, they come together. And when I see the red lights, I shift. And on the outside, there is alarm lo uh, lights or the traction control. Traction control is left and right. Here it says slip. That is more or less when I want the traction controlled. And on the right is how I want the traction controlled. If I wanted to interfere a lot or very smooth. 
So that's it about uh, our uh, fantastic office. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly do every day.